Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So I think this is going to be one of the best budget controller for all around use. So I have been using it and I did end up flashing it to a nightly build in China, testing it. I had to really test it and all I can say are good things about it. However, there's a couple things that kind of hold it back. And what are, what are those? Well, first of all, it's the software, but the software, I think 80% chance it'll get sorted out within the next two months. This is what I'm currently guessing. But even then, we're, I'm, you're still going to be able to use it. For example, if you wanted to use the D8 type uh, whoops and toothpicks, then I recommend you go and get yourself this one right here. And this is what I've been using nonstop for Fly Sky and as well as FR Sky D8 and D16. And I think this is the best multi protocol module you could find for this form factor. I have the other one, which is the Vantech. This one just seems to be all around better. Even when, you, when I took it apart, I saw this is at least how it has some shielding. It just looks much nicer on the inside. So I'd highly recommend it. Plus, I've been using it and um, it's working flawlessly every single time. So I'll have it linked down below. I think it's like 20 bucks or so. And another little great mod that I'll be doing in a later video is this right here. And I, what is this? This is a charging board for the X9 light here. What this will allow you to do is charge the two lithium ion packs inside via the USB connector down here. And I think it only needs like three or four wires to run to this and it'll just run just fine. So it's, it's a really nice option to have and it's very cheap and I'll have it linked down below. I'll do this in a later video because I don't want this video to be too long. Next down the line is I'm gonna be using the top sky on this. I'm gonna figure out a mod in a 3D printed set up for this because I want to set it up up here and just also have it be removable because it's a really tight form factor here, which I, I really like seeing because um, it's not going to take that much space compared to everything else uh, that it's using a full fledged gimbal on. But I really do like the way it feels and the way it performs and the gimbals are just really nice. I love that ratcheting right here. You might be like, why are you going to use the Top Sky watch, not, not any other watch? Well, for a couple reasons. It has an inbuilt charging circuit, which means you don't need a special adapter like the other ones. So if you lose that special adapter for the other ones, then you can't really charge it. This one has everything built in. Just plug the USB and let it charge. That is one convenient thing to have, which um, allows you to use it a lot more often. Second of all, MMCX, none of them, I don't think anything else has that. So you can use your own MMCX, which I decided to use this uh, Rush FPV one. Uh, they come like this and they have two in a pack. They're really cool. So I haven't tested them yet, but I'll be testing them up soon. But you don't have to get this. You can just use the dipolar they provide you with right here with it. They, they do provide you with that. So that's really cool. So in order to flash it, what you have to do is hold these two in and then hold the power button and then just let go. Then you get into this screen. Then all you gotta do is get your micro USB. Finally, we get to use a micro USB um, and just plug it in. All right, so once this is connected, let's go hop into the PC and show how everything else is working. All right, so if you go ahead and check the links down below, you'll find a software or firmware page and it'll take you to this page right here, which is OpenTX 2.3 Nightlies. And what you wanna do, especially if you're on Windows, you wanna click on this right here. And once you click on it and then it'll download, you could choose one of these. Right now, what I currently have is ON47 here. So I'll also download this one right here, which is July 15th, 2019. Um, in China, I use the July 10th. Right now, I've been using the 15th. So you could choose any of these. The 10 or the 15 have been tested by me. Obviously, the 10 more. 15 tomorrow, I'll have more uh, testing done on it. So I'll download both of these for you and upload them somewhere else just in case they're gone. So you just download it, install it. All right, so once you download it, install it, and open it, you should get a page that looks like this. So next thing you want to go is you want to go to settings, and you want to go to a radio profile, and then just add a profile. So we're going to call it X9 uh, Nightly. You can call it whatever you want. You can even just put an A. And next thing you want to do is you want to obviously choose the FR Sky X9 Lite. Once you choose that, then, you know, there's Crossfire. There's multi-module uh, right here. This is very important because this is what we need. Lua, Lua C, and you could even put the Flex R9M if you wanted. So everything here looks pretty good. Now, if you go ahead and press OK, and then we go to download the software or the firmware, we say check for updates. We're just going to keep getting errors no matter what we do, unless I think we hit the download SD content. So the next thing you want to do after that is you want to go to the settings again, but you want to go to settings now. Make sure you're on the, the profile that you just created. And then you want to go to the uh, settings here and you want to go to the application tab. Okay. You see where it says stable. Then we want to say we use nightly builds on stable. Okay. And then we're going to go for a download. I'm going to say check for updates and then we're going to say download, save. 
All right, so if the download takes too, too long, okay, because it shouldn't take that long, then you want to go back and edit the settings slightly. So right now I've already downloaded the firmware, but let's go back. And then what do I mean by edit the settings? You want to go to the settings again. For example, I just removed the Flex R9M or the Flex 9M. That one was just not letting me download it. So it's probably they haven't built it or something. So I just unclicked it and unclicked the Lua C and I just kept Lua, multi-module and crossfire. And then that's when I just press OK again, download, and it should be this around this fast, hopefully, depending on your internet connection. So we'll just download it, just replace it, and boom, that's it, done. If it's just loading without a percentage, then it's not downloading. So that's probably, you know, they never created it. So now we have that right there. So remember the name OpenTX X9 Lite Crossfire Lua Multi Module English. Okay. And then next step is you want to flash the firmware. So make sure obviously it's connected like I showed you earlier. So you want to do write firmware and okay, this looks good. Yeah, open TX X9 Lite, done. Okay, use firmware and just write to TX. So actually flashing it is really fast. So now that's done. So let's jump back to the desk and uh, let's take a look at it. All right, so we should still just be on this page. We can go ahead. I don't think we could power it off. So I think you can just disconnect it and then you just power it off or you could have just pressed exit. And now when we boot it up, it should be open TX and it'll give you the warning for a nightly build. There we go. Throttle warning. Throttle look good. All right. So everything here is great. Let's go ahead and check the menu now. So we're going to click page just once. Don't hold it. Menu and then page. And we're just going to go down and let's see what we have. So we have here, we have the access and the access D16. I keep that off. And we have multi protocol, fly sky. Oh, let's go ahead and go through these. So we have R9 MFCC. And I think I showed you these. I'll just go th through them really quick. So you can go ahead and uh, see them as I go through. Crossfire, just about everything. So that's really cool. So I'm gonna keep it here. I'm gonna keep it on my Fly Sky, FR Sky, sorry. And then D8, there we go. And you can do no telemetry, or it comes no telemetry, but I was getting RSSI, so that's really nice. And that's it. It's just really that simple. So I highly recommend this module for you. It'll be useful. It's not going to just sit there and collect dust. Eventually, you'll probably get a toy or your cousin or something. It'll bind to almost every single Chinese toy, which is something really cool with these. And the charging circuit is a must have also, which I'll do a later video on. And the mod for this, uh, hopefully someone did something on Thingiverse. But if not, I'll start designing something for this as well and then there's probably going to be more mods to this because i want to see if i can actually go out just with this with no goggles and like a quad and just try to enjoy everything with everything you see right here so i think that'll be a really cool setup especially if we get to fly pretty awesome areas with my new full speed toothpick that's hd capable which i'll be testing on this guy and well that's it guys i'll have the links down below if you can check them out those greatly support the channel also enable me to feed my kids and i'll see you in the next one peace out guys